Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, and some of you may have heard of board feet and not know what it is. Other of you may have heard of it but don't know how to calculate it. Well, I'm going to explain both of those to you today. Uh, a lot of people say, well, what is board feet used for anyways? If you think of plywood, you buy plywood by the sheet, you buy two by fours by the length, uh, but if you're going to buy lumber, lumber to make uh, furniture or things of that nature, you have to buy it in the board foot or buy the board foot. And knowing how much you need will make things a lot easier when you go to buy it at the lumber yard. First thing you need to know are the dimensions of your stock. The length, the width, and the thickness. And those are the three numbers that will determine your board feet. Uh, the easiest way to do it, uh, unless you're doing something really huge, the easiest way to, to do the math is to keep everything in inches. So if you have a piece that's 60 inches long and 5 inches wide and 1 inch thick, you can calculate that out and give you the number of board feet. In this case, we've got 60 inches times 5 inches times 1 inch gives us 300 inches. We're going to divide that by 144. Basically what we're doing is taking that 300 inch feet, converting it to board feet. So we're going to divide the 300 by the 144 and that's going to give us two, just, un, or just over two board feet. One thing you have to keep in mind is you have to plan for more than you need. And kind of an industry standard is to add 15%. So all we're going to do at this point is add 15% to that, and the easiest way is to multiply our two board feet times 1.15, which now gives us 2.4 board feet. So the stock we would need for that project is 2.4 board feet. And really quickly, that's how you calculate your board feet for any projects you have. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.